in an election involving two candidates, 68 votes were declared invalid. Winning candidate got 52 percent. So winning candidate got 52 percent of the valid votes and won by 98 votes. What was the total number of votes pulled? Okay. Um, I am sure this question is not an issue for any, anyone. The winning candidate gets 52 percent of the votes. The losing candidate gets 48 percent of the votes. Or in other words, the difference between the two of them is 4 percent of the valid votes, which is nothing but 98. Again, 4% is 98. So 100% should be equal to 98 into 25. Okay. 98 into 25, uh, again, if you have to multiply, it is nothing but 25 into 100 minus 25 into 2. Because 98 is nothing but 100 minus 2. So it is 2500 minus 2, 2450. Okay. 2450. And uh, okay, so, okay, not able to understand, let me just uh, repeat this part. The winning candidate gets 52% of the valid votes. In other words, the losing candidate, because there are only two candidates, the losing candidate got 48% of the votes. Or the difference between the two of them is 4% of the valid votes. Valid votes. Now, this 4% of valid votes is equal to 98. Since the winning candidate got won by 98 votes, that means he got 98 votes more than the losing candidate. So 4% of valid votes is 98, or 100% of valid votes is equal to 98 into 25, which is nothing but 2450. Now, this is where mistakes happen. Many students, many a time, would mark this as the answer, which is incorrect. Because the question is not the, what is the total number of valid votes, it is the total number of votes. The total number of votes are nothing but 2450 plus the 68 invalid votes, so plus 68 should be the answer. So the answer should be 2450 plus 68, which is 2518. There is a very common error, and these kind of errors happen very frequently in the paper. So my request to all of you would be that you need to be a little careful. Look at what is the question asking for, and make sure you don't commit a. This is what I call a, 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 an unforced error or a silly mistake. And this is what has to be awarded. A simple question should definitely get wrong, but a number of times I have seen people marking the answer as B instead of B. The correct answer is 2518. Many students incorrectly mark the answer as 2450 because they calculate 2450, did not know that the question was the total number of votes, not the total number of valid votes. Total number of valid votes is 2450, this is valid votes. But the answer is total number of votes, which is okay. So how did we get four percent away? Away. How can you do this? Okay. Away is asking us how did we get four percent? The winning candidate got fifty two percent of the votes. Fifty two percent of valid votes. For the winner. So the since there are only two candidates, that means the loser, the person who lost would have got the remaining or the 48% of valid votes. Or the difference between the two is 4% of valid votes. 4% of valid votes, since the winning candidate got won by 98 votes, that means he got 98 votes more than the losing candidate. So 4% of valid votes is equal to 98. Again, okay, I hope that clear it for you. Can we solve if the percentage of invalid votes is given? Uh, can we solve if the percentage of invalid votes is given? Uh, yes, I think we can solve. If it says the number of in or the percentage of invalid, for example, had it said that the percentage of invalid votes is two percent, that means two four five zero would be equal to ninety eight percent. So yes, it can be solved even if the percentage of invalid votes.